Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to look at three awesome recipes featuring superfoods. If you're wondering about weaning superfoods for babies, then I have a separate video on that. Click on the i button to watch that video. Before we start the recipes, remember the three golden rules. Always introduce one food at a time. Wait for at least three days before starting any new ingredient. And always remember no salt or sugar in the first one year. For our first recipe, we're going to be making spinach and pumpkin puree. For all baby foods, I make sure to put a lot of thought and effort in choosing the ingredients. I make sure that the ingredients are super nutritious, that is they provide all the necessary nutrients and minerals, they are easy to digest, they are hypoallergenic, that is they do not have any risk of causing any allergy and also they are flavorful. For my first recipe, I am using pumpkin which is rich in vitamin A, vitamin C and therefore is an immune booster. I'm also using spinach which is known to protect liver and because it contains more than 90% water it also hydrates the baby. We're also using garlic which is a known superfood. It is antimicrobial, builds immunity and also aids in digestion. We're also using cumin which aids in digestion and provides immunity. First we are going to de-seed the pumpkin, peel the skin and chop the pumpkin into small pieces. Make sure you wash all the vegetables and fruits thoroughly before using. Always use fresh spinach. Make sure you finely chop the spinach to get the maximum nutrients. Boiling the vegetables in water causes loss of water soluble vitamins and minerals. Therefore, it is always advisable to steam or microwave the vegetables to retain their nutrient profile. Always cook the harder vegetable first and then you can add the fruit or the cream. So here I'm cooking the pumpkin first for about 5 to 7 minutes and then I'm adding the spinach which requires about 2 minutes to cook. Once it is cooked, cool it to room temperature, transfer it into a blender, then add garlic and a pinch of cumin powder. Then you can blend it into a smooth paste. Do let me know in the comments below what is your favorite puree for your baby. Also, if you have any query regarding weaning foods, let me know and I'll try my best to answer the questions. My next recipe is apple and carrot puree. This is a good vitamin A booster as both of them are rich in vitamin A. So let's look at the ingredients. We are using carrots which are rich in vitamin A and as an immune booster and apples are also rich in vitamin A, B1, B2 and C. They are also rich in fiber and are known to have antioxidants. Turmeric is a known antibacterial and an immune booster. Ginger reduces gas and it prevents vomiting. First, wash the apple thoroughly before using. You can peel the skin of the apple for babies who are as small as 6 months. But the skin of the apple has been known to have many nutrients and minerals more than the fruit pulp itself. So you can leave the peel for babies who are over 8 months. After peeling the skin and removing the seeds of the apple and then cutting them into small 1 inch cubes so that they are easy to steam and then blend. I'm doing the same with the carrot, peeling the skin and chopping them into small pieces. I'm 
I am using a double boiler to steam the vegetables. First, I am going to steam the carrots which I am going to cook for about 5 to 7 minutes and then I am going to add in the apples which require about 3 minutes to cook. Once cooked, transfer it into a blender, add the ginger and turmeric and then blend into smooth paste. My next recipe is banana and oats. Because both of them are really rich in fiber, they aid in digestion and prevent constipation. This recipe is really simple with only three ingredients, bananas which are rich in potassium, calcium and fiber. They contain about 3 grams of fiber for every fruit and then we have oats which prevent acid reflux because of their high fiber content. Also they prevent constipation because of high fiber. And we're going to use cinnamon in a powdered form which improves digestion and is also known to boost brain function. I'm using 5 bananas because they're really small. You can decide how many you want to use depending on the size of the banana. First, I'm going to peel and slice them. If you do have time, then you can soak the oats for about 5 minutes so that they soften. But otherwise, you can cook them directly in water for about 3 minutes. Once cooked, cool it to room temperature, then transfer it into a blender, add in the bananas and a pinch of cinnamon. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, definitely subscribe and hit that bell icon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.